make a noise at something. Yeah. I'm uh, creating. Yeah, sign me around the lathe machine. Well, I had an old piece of aluminum like that, and I just turned it down on the lathe. Why? So now, well, it's for you, really. Well, no, it's this part of it is for me, but it's for your pond. The pond? When we designed the pond and put it all in, boy, is there some windy in it? Oh. Terrible wind. This has been going on, what, almost 24 hours? Hurricane force winds. It's about 10 o'clock last night. Yeah, people aren't sleeping. Man, houses are shaking, trees are blowing down. Patio uh, patios are, are blowing, blowing off street. houses. The, yeah, the trees are coming down on vehicles. Oh, other than that, no, there's nothing to it. It's just a little breeze. <laughs> <laughs> but it is frightening. I mean, you can hear this place creaking and cracking. And, yeah, it's scary. You know, I mean, that sounded like your purse opening that time. Really? Well, I want something. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so when we put the pond in, we had a nice big four or five hundred dollar pump mm -hmm. to put down in the skimmer. You did? And then I realized there's a problem because the skimmer is at the end of the pond and that's where all the debris and waste and everything comes and it goes into a filter and it goes into a little uh, net and of course once it fills up, the water can't get past it. The water in the skimmer drops down and the pump starves for water. And they say you should never run it without water. So then we had to come up with a system that would cut the pump out as soon as the filter's plugged. Just in case we were gone sometime. So anyway, we came up with a floating uh, switch and we hooked it all up and of course it worked a couple of times, oh, yeah. no problem. Yeah. That worked really well. Yeah, and when the, if the filter's plugged, and the water can't get past the filters, the water level drops, the, uh, the little switch run goes down the water and it cuts the, the pump out. So we saved the pump. Then I realized, over the winter especially, that when the rain, when it rains, we get sometimes torrential rains. It can rain 30 or 40 millimeters of rain in one serving. And of course, when your water level is already up in your pond, then your pond gets over full. And all along the side of your pond is those blocks, right? Now, in order to level those blocks, we didn't use cement, we just used sand. So if you let the pond overflow, the sand washes out and the rocks you know, wash out and then they become unlevel. And there's also a chance that the water could get down on the other side of the liner and probably wash, a, wash away the structure. So. That's what I'm doing now. <laughs> long story short. Is I'm there a long building story? <laughs> a system that will go on to the side of the skimmer. Okay. It's going to have a switch here. On the bottom, it's going to have the pump. And then I'll be able to adjust the water level by adjusting this float. And then when it when the water comes up, it'll go, and the pump will cut in. There will be a discharge tube coming out and going out over in the grass somewhere. Nobody will see it. It'll be kind of semi-buried. And that way, it looks after itself. If we're away or if it's the middle of the night, we get torrential rains and it starts to get full, the bobber goes up and uh, causes it to... Ah, cut in and yeah. water releases. Yeah. Gee, hey, there you go. Huh? Crafting. So oh, yeah. very simple, but it just takes the initiative to do it, you know? Wow. So I'm going to continue on with that and uh, I'll come back later and we'll probably show them the end result. I'm not going out there with it. Well, you'll go out if I tell you. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. I only see one of you. When I see 20 of you or the equivalent of just your mother, I'll go out there. I was gonna say, I was just gonna say, <laughs> I'll call in mother. Yeah, yeah, see that's dirty. See that's, see that's, there's no need of that. Well, you already admitted you're, you're not, not afraid of me. But they're, they're fighting And we know you're afraid of mother, so. But they're fighting nerds. I'm not afraid of your mother. I am terrified of your mother. Well, see, that's it. That's gonna work in my advantage. Yeah, well, I'm gonna tell you something now. There's gonna be a lot of advantages you're not gonna get. You keep threatening that. <laughs> you're, gonna be friggin', you're gonna be fixing up your own friggin' pond. Don't forget nasty. So there's, uh, so that's what it's probably, that's probably what it's going to look like, something like this, you know? Yeah. Right, with the thing down there. Anyway, that's what I'm hoping. Oh, 
and yeah, I'll pick up my clamp. And the twister thing, well, I only had a chance to try that the weekend, and uh, we'll be doing a video on this later on, but it do twist. Oh, it sure does. That's hey. Look. Yep. Right? And there's, that's uh, one inch by one eighth. That's a half inch by uh, one eighth. And that's another half inch by one eighth. See, you can, you can set it up where you can do a double twist, right? Oh, yeah. See, and that's why it's flat there. And this one, of course, is, is one right through, right? And this is uh, uh, three eighths square stock, solid square stock. Yeah, that was heavy. Yeah, so it does work and it works very well. I'm kind of pleased with it. Oh, yes, this stuff. Hmm. This is not the well. He looks it, but it ain't. Your sample is not so expensive as that. Folks, anytime that you got a decal on your vehicle, you have to get it off. Like for instance, on our old truck, there's a great big decal on the hood. And it's been on there probably, I'm going to guess, 15 years. Oh, yeah. Of course, the problem is with it, the sun got it baked and it got little alligator cracks and stuff in it, so I want to remove it. Just removing the decal alone is a, is a chore in itself. Now there's little discs that you can get. I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use a heat gun, peel it off by hand. But the residue, the residue is brutal. Now you can use WD-40. It's terrible. It got a tendency to yuck up. Oh, well, we got the courier coming. But anyway, we got this stuff here. It's called Rapid Remover. Check it out online. This is supposed to be really good for removing the residue. So. Uh, We'll come back later and we'll show you this. We got the courier here now. We better get going. That's two things for you. Me? Yeah. Me? Yeah. You. For a change. Are you sure? I mean, for a change. <laughs> I've taken you shopping twice this week. Well, that's not the same as having it come in delivered. Oh, that's right. So we're going to see now what this is like. This is in addition to the pole that we that I made for you. And remember the, the plane? Yeah. The plane, the plane. Yep. Made by the same company. Little tiny hole. A little tiny hole. Don't like little tiny holes. Could be damaged. Now that bottom one you've already seen because it came in damaged. Man, oh man, I hope I can get this out before it all blows away. You got that right. Well, we shall see everybody at home. Great, the suspense is killing them. Mm -hmm. They're saying, hurry on and open it. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, both from Amazon. Well packaged. Well packaged, yeah. Well packaged. Where's the knife? Everybody was saying that they weren't getting enough video, so we'll do a video about something. I don't think it's here, it's over the wind. Yeah. Okay, cover? That's a bird feeder. Oh, and it already got seed in it? No, I thought it did. Look, that's a sticker. Oh, a sticker. A sticker. Seed. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were supplying seed. Isn't that, that cool? That is cool. Right? Yeah, okay. so you put the, put the seed in through here, and then they eat out of here. Oh. Right? Not cool or what, eh? So the same people made the plane? Yeah. Yeah, same people. It's made by heart flew through. <laughs> <laughs> it's made by gooddirection.com. So that's that. That's going on your, your newly minted pole out there. Now this one here, boy, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> the last one that came in, they must have had it in Italy somewhere. You it wasn't it. looking so good. Huh? It wasn't looking so no, good. No, but then it had a great big hole inside of the box. And this box is a little bit better. I think when you mark fragile, I think they think it's a joke. Oh, yeah? And they just beat the living crap out of it. Mm. You don't think you're being serious? No, I don't think they're being serious.
And of course, this is related to your pond as well. Well, the hole shouldn't have any effect on it because well, it's... It never went through the star pond. Okay. That's good to know. Rudder. Where's the dirt? Yeah, we don't want to tear our box up too much. Just in case. Well, the other one was destroyed. I don't think you could beat the other one up any worse than it was. Other than putting in a car crusher. That's true. Man, it'll start our home brutal, isn't it? after catching two of your fish. <laughs> That's adorable. But when he came in last time, he had eaten the fish. He had eaten the fish. <laughs> yeah. And all we saw was just pieces and scraps. And yeah, that's right. Skins backbone. And backbone. Yeah, yeah. In the box. And he was going, oh. <laughs> I guess he had a bone cut across the throat. Well, it was over a week late, so I guess he got hungry. Yeah, when he got hungry, he got the munchies. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's that as well. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Yeah, it's going to look nice and you can say quite a pond hanging over here. Well, we put no quite a pond today, we go all away. That's all right, so we have to anchor him down as it is. If he saw a lot here, he'd probably run away. Yeah, no problem. So. Well, that's good, that's a relief. Yeah, so that's the unboxing. Mm-hmm. Super cool. Now I'm going to go back at that pump again. Yep. stickers on there. Oh yeah, that's a pretty big one. Isn't it? Yeah, because that's, that's because idiots stands in water, plugs in cords and stuff. Oh, they want it big enough, so. 
so they can say, well, we put the thing there big enough. That's right. Can't say you didn't see it. Yeah. Oh, happened. Oh, yeah. Like when you get a, a coffee at a coffee shop, mm -hmm. written all over it, you know, contents might be hot. And they'll still protect hot. themselves, you know? <laughs> yeah, really, eh? Well, that's the way it is nowadays. Everything's liability. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that's the. Uh, it's all made of scrap. <laughs> well, the pump and the switch is not. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be the discharge. Okay. I got some more work to do, but I'm not. I'm not going to. I got to run steel line and stuff under the ground. Just a small, uh, big fuel line, like three-eighth fuel line. Okay. And join onto this, but. Uh, yeah, so this is just going to hang down off the skimmer, mm -hmm. and if the water rises an inch, this is going to pop up and it's going to go, and it's going to cause that pump to cut in. Now, technically, you're not supposed to run with the pump drive. It was just well to try it here before it puts it out the pond. True. So she's going to rise. Whoop. I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know if that pump. He knows where we got that pump. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, well, that's not a defective pump. Certainly sounds like one. It might be dry, right? Hang on there. We gotta go get a bucket of water. I was gonna say it might act different in water. Yeah, let's get a bucket of water. Have you got the mic turned on? Yeah, I do. That's the worst with that one. You gotta try no, to remember. I was gonna remember. Yeah, it's different now. It's too. Okay, let's see. Things. Now maybe that pump was just quiet, but it seemed awful quiet. I got my fingers crossed. Oh, that's okay. it. Good. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. it's just a quiet pump. Oh, that's good. Little Giant makes good, uh, good quality pumps, right? Yeah. Or no means. He was what? He wasn't cheap. No, what? 50 bucks or something? 80. <laughs> that pump? Yeah. No. Yeah, that pond pump. Seriously? Yes. I didn't know that. Plus tax. Wow. Prince is out. Yeah, but he was uh, a different size. He was a smaller size, but more money. He's uh, How many 36 across? watts. And he's uh, 600, 643 liters per hour. So that's 170 gallons per hour. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so it works. Yay. So like I say, this is, uh, it's all made out of scrap. So this is just gonna hang on the skimmer. The cover's gonna go over it, and that's all you're gonna see. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gonna go hook that up there now. And then, well, we'll venture out with that because we got the dead kitten on it. Yeah. So it might not pick up. We'll see. I'll tell you, if they don't pick up any wind out there now with that dead kitten, I'm going to tell you something. That dead kitten is worth his waiting in the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I'm going to tell you something. And you better start putting some bolts and stuff in your pocket so you don't blow away out there. This is a good day to test that mic. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go out now. Uh -huh. Kitten. We're testing the kitten. Dead yeah, you're going to set it up and we'll come I'll go out. set it up and we'll, uh, we'll go out and show them after. You got mic turned on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How many times are you going to ask well, me? Well, yes, I mean, because I don't want to get in there and go editing and look at And now everybody would like it if they looked at me on, on video and I was going. Yeah, lips. What is that? Lip syncing? Is it? <laughs> you know, then I have to put in subtitles. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we got the pump hooked up and it's all in place. Now keep in mind, folks, that. It's about a minus 10 degrees Celsius out there with the wind. The wind is about 110 kilometers per hour. And uh, Kathy, if, if you go, the blowing, if the wind takes you, lay the camera down and let the wind take you. <laughs> because Medicare won't cover that, uh, that camera. Anyway, so you'll, you'll get an idea how it looks in front of the uh, skimmer. And uh, so remember, there's a, there's a switch in the skimmer that shuts off the main pump if the filter's plugged. That way the pump don't burn up. If the pond gets too much water, 
that's what this pump is going to do. So if wow. anybody's out there with a, a pond, if we had to have the facilities or a room, I would have put in an overflow drain. Yeah, that's right. Right, but we just didn't, we didn't have the grade, plus there was pavement all around one side and grass conditions. on the other. You only got to do it for your conditions. Yeah, so right? this yes. was, this is what we came up with. So let's give her. Alrighty. We're going to test this dead away. cat in the wind now. <laughs> we are. And there, I'll close the door for you. Oh, oh. oh it's snowing. Oh, yeah. Buy winter jacket for a goldfish. That's cold. It's cold. Whoa. Well, look, you can see it here now. Look. Oh, yeah. See, it's it's hanging from the skin. Yeah, perfect. So if that comes up an inch, yeah. that, that's going to pump, that's going to pop up. Yep. Turn the switch on. And then we're going to have a line going out here. Oh, but right yeah. there, right there is the line coming out of the water. Right. So I'll show you now. Hey. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. Yeah. It's a, it's a good location for it. Oh yeah. Wow, the fish are out. I didn't think they'd be out. Are they? This one. Yeah. But they're nosy. That's right, they're They're all females. <laughs> I don't think they are, I think they're male. I think so. That's coming in next, folks, so that'll be the, the next video, or unless something really weird comes in. So. Okay, that's a wrap, that will be. Ooh, yeah, let's call that a wrap. Man, I'm close. Me too. That's pretty cold out there. It's got to be colder than this. Like yeah. It was that cold here last night, the two wood horses tried to get in the shed. <laughs> that was cold. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. What are you crying? Yeah, that's just the wind. Oh no, that's the snow. It's depressing. Oh. I don't feel like crying too, but I want to do it on the camera. Well, it didn't blow away, so no, that's good. No, no, the camera's heavy enough to suppose yeah, the battery back. Yeah, it down. So folks, that's a little video we didn't intend on doing one, but hey, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we got to work on a uh, international dump truck <laughs> outside. I won't nah, be that. I'll, I'll get the arse end of her in here while I can do it. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, we didn't intend to do it, so it was just something we said, ah, forget it. And it was made out of all scrap except for the pump and the switch. The switch was $40. Yeah, $35 in tax. Yeah. yeah. The first one was, but he didn't work. The first one was 45 The first sure. switch. Yeah. Yeah, because he was one of those things like on a bobber and he was on a, uh, he was on extension cord and he was... Yeah, he wasn't and, as good as you, you, you couldn't really get that fine adjustment. Yeah. And I didn't want to work with that, so that worked out okay. And that particular switch, if anybody's looking for one, came from Canadian Tire. That's right. Yeah, and the pump which is uh, little, little Giant. Little Giant. That's Prince's Auto. Yes, which is a buy Little Giant pr practically anywhere. Anywhere, Any yeah. We just happened to be in there. I don't know why. We just wandered in there. Yeah, I don't know and, how. We were and, there. And there it was. And that's what the, the box looks like for the switch. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a nice, fine, tuned type of switch. So that's it, huh? That's it. Okay, folks, we'll see you in the next video. You guys take care. Uh, have a nice day or a nice evening, depending on where you're to. And we'll see you in the next video. So on behalf of Kathy and I, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time around. God bless.